Today in second grade, we're gonna be drawing lands. To start our drawing, we've got our paper turned the landscape way. Some artists call that the bathtub way or the landscape way we can refer it to. And we're going to start off with just a circle right up kind of in the corner. And you want it to be about as big as your hand or bigger. So I'm really gonna lightly kind of warm my arm up and get a nice good circle started for the head of the loon. At any time today, while you're watching this video, if you need more time to draw, you can go ahead and pause the video. Over on the left side of the circle, I'm gonna start off by drawing a triangle right inside of that circle. And that's gonna be part of my loon's beak. So I'm gonna draw the triangle right inside there. And then on the outside of that, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a longer triangle for the front of the beak, just like that. Right inside of the beak here, I've got this extra line that I don't need. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase that line that's right inside of the beak. And then I had kind of done a lot of different lines around for my head. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the line I'd like and make it just a little bit darker. And then you can put an eye, just a little circle over here for the loon's eye. Now I'm gonna start working on the loon's neck. So I'm gonna go for the back of the head and I'm gonna kind of bring this line straight down, give it a little bit of a neck, and then I'm gonna curve up to make the back of the loon and come back down around where I would be coming to make the tail, where the wing would be down and the tail, and we're drawing it from the side. The loon is from the side. Now I'm gonna work on the neck on the other side of the loon, so I'm gonna connect from the head. I'm gonna come back around here come down near the bottom of my paper and curve around to make the bottom like the belly of the bird. I'm just drawing that straight and now I'm gonna bring it up and connect it to where I ended before. And then as you can see right inside the head here, I erased that part of my circle that was connecting. So you can go ahead and erase that part and draw the other side of your neck and the bottom of the balloon. Now we're pretty much done with drawing the basic part of the loon. The next thing is to add the black and white pattern to the loon with the oil pastel and the paint. But some people might want to put on a baby bird. So if you'd like to put on a baby bird, you can draw it up here in the empty space. You can always cut it out and add it to the back of the mama bird later. Or you can go ahead and draw it right down here just like the baby bird is swimming along with the mama. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So to start off with that baby bird, again, I'm gonna start with the head. So I'm just gonna be drawing a little circle. This time the circle's smaller, not too teeny tiny, but it's smaller than the mom's head. Okay, then right in the front, they're gonna have a little beak. And just kinda like we did with the mom loon, they've got just a little part of that beak going back inside of the head. Next, I'm gonna work on the body of the baby bird and it's kind of like a football shape or an almond. So I'm gonna curve around and then I'm just gonna kind of have the bottom of it follow along with the bottom of the mama's body. And then I've gotta make the little bit of the neck and it curve around here for the belly of the baby bird. Then all I have left to do now is add an eye and erase a couple of lines. I'm gonna erase that line right in the inside of that beak. And I'm gonna go again and erase this line that was connect to connect the head to the body here. And I'm pretty much done drawing the wounds. I just need to do my oil pastel now to prepare for the wax resist we're going to do. Oh no. The next step is to outline the loon with oil pastel. Now most of the students, the students should be using a white oil pastel right now to outline their loons. But if I use a white oil pastel, the problem is that you aren't able to see where all of my lines are going. So I am just going to be using a black. So everywhere that I am putting black, you should be putting white. 
So I'm gonna go all the way around the outside of my loon. I'm also going to be going all the way around the outside of the baby loon. And then after I'm done going around the outside, that's when I'm gonna start adding that pattern. And we talked about that the loon has kind of a checkered pattern on its back and its underbelly is all white. So we will be using part of the white oil pastel to be doing a little bit of coloring. Again, everywhere that you see me putting black, that's where you're using your white oil pastel to do your outlining. So you're using your white oil pastel right now, going all the way around your loon and all the way around the baby loon. All right, now I'm going to take what you, if you're using this, you should be using a white oil pastel. I'm gonna take now the black and start to do kind of that. They said there's a wavy white necklace kind of around the loon's neck. So I'm gonna kind of add that in. Kind of making those like striped patterns. And then the belly of the bird, the belly of the loon is white. So kind of everywhere underneath here that would be part of that belly, I'd be coloring that in white. Okay. And then on the back, it kind of has a checkered pattern. So I just like to wiggle my oil pastel kind of back and forth to make kind of those checks. And then I make just a few of them and put them right next to each other. And those go all along the back of the loon. The baby loon, I'm just gonna leave it as it is and color in the eye, color it in white. I did color in the mama loon's um, eye with a red oil pastel. I'm gonna color the babies either white or black is a good color for it. And again, I'm just going along the loon's back here and kind of wiggling my oil pastel back and forth and making those kind of check, checkered looking things on the back of the loon. And then I'm going to kind of maybe add just a couple more stripes of color down here. And then I'm gonna press and twist to add maybe a couple of dots. So just a little bit of a press and twist. Not slamming my oil pastel down, just gently pressing and twisting to kind of add that dotted pattern that the loon has to it. The loon's head is all black, so I'm just going to leave that black. Press and twist. All right, the next step is to paint your loon. And since you guys did white oil pastel, you're using black. I am going to use this um, purple fuchsia color today. And as you can see in this cup of paint, this is a tempera cake. Lots of the tempera cake has worn out, but there is still plenty of tempera cake in here to use. So I'm going to dip in the water, swipe, swipe. I don't ever splat, splat. I always swipe, swipe. Tickle, tickle, tickle right on the paint. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put that right over the top of the bird. Dip, tickle, tickle, tickle. Wipe it over the top of the bird. Now, if I want it to be a darker color, like if I wanted mine to be a darker purple or a darker black, I'm gonna use more paint and less water. So I'm really, really rubbing here, rubbing the paintbrush in that paint. And now here, you can really see the difference in the color. So this has more pigment, more color to it, and this has less. So more water is gonna make your color light. So you just go ahead and you paint all over the top of your whole entire loon. Also gonna go right over the top of your baby loon, okay? Till the entire loon is completely painted and is black. Yours will be black when you're done. Mine's about to be all purple. And as you can see down here, it's not going to stick because I've got that white, you should have white oil pastel down there for the belly of your loon. That is a simple lesson on how to draw and do a wax resist loon for second grade students. <laughs>